Well, hello there, Dukely here. We're back playing Rise of Flight. Um, and there's a squadron relocation. I think I just did this last time. Um, Rembuke, Rembuke, uh, whatever. Um, yes, I thought this had been done. Um, maybe not. Let's, where's the map? Missions. Here we go. <clears throat> um, no, I guess not. I thought we had done this. Or maybe maybe I had read the thing. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, oh, no. So, yes. We did do this last time. And I am already done. <clears throat> We're just waiting for the other people to go. So, we'll just hit next mission a few times. And then we should be doing something more interesting. Um... I did pick that, the location of that one, based on the location, because <laughs> I kind of liked being really close to the front, because it didn't take long to get to the action. I think now we've been moved back a little bit, because we're losing the war at this point, um, I think, a little bit, um, quite poorly, it's going poorly. <clears throat> um, so yeah, well, I'll look at the map once we get uh, to the next day. Maybe there'll be some, some information here. Bit of dust there. Well, we're young. Okay. So, we have a move to the Rembuke? Rumbuk? Yes. Um, I don't remember if that's the same commander or not. Um, <clears throat> we got a lone patrol. Mr. Gottlieb Schulz and Loth Lothar Schumacher is going on a reconnaissance. So I'll be doing nothing today, apparently. Okay, so there's there we are. And we were somewhere up here at like Zand, I think. Um, so I don't know why we've been moved here. There's a shit ton of planes over here. Whoops. Oh, there's a shit ton of bases here. Um, <clears throat> they have quite a few bases here as well. Oh, I don't know. I'm not in charge. I just do what they tell me. So, I guess... We're a bit farther away than we were before. <clears throat> However, I don't think that's going to be too bad of a, of a drive there. A fly, what have you. So we'll go to the next mission, I guess. Uh... Which was going to be the reconnaissance. So the lone patrol guy is, is going there. And perhaps. Oh crap. Oh, oh, oh crap. Okay, so we got incoming enemy planes. Oh, okay. This, okay, this is, this is good. We didn't know this was going to happen. That's fun. Oh, good. I was on alert patrol. So we're going to go ahead and begin mission. We are being viciously attacked by possibly French or Belgian men. Uh,. And we're going to have to shoot them in the plane area so that they crash. <clears throat> uh, it's a loading screen here. I suppose I could cut this out. Okay, so here we are. You know what I think happened? I think that reconnaissance man, or that lone patrolman, saw a whole bunch of stuff, okay? And he was all like, oh my god. And he f turned around and he flew back and he was like, there's so many of you guys. Oh my god. And then... Now we're here, and we're taking off with the planes to fly places with them. So, oops, let me get my let me get my control situated here. Oh God, try not to flip the plane over before I've even got it in the air. Mm, careful, 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 careful. Um, I should take this time to mention that it has been a little while since I've played this. Perhaps a week and a half, maybe, um, because I was sick the last time I played this, which was a couple weeks ago, um, and I recorded some stuff then <clears throat> when I was very, very poorly. <clears throat> but I think okay, just making sure everything's working there. Jesus. So, we're just going to go ahead and go right for the thing, right over here. I'm going to put on the 
the auto level. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Allergies are quite horrible. Okay. We need to climb a bit, I think. There's another plane over there. I am most certainly out of formation, but it doesn't seem to matter in this because mm, the guy just doesn't really... The, the leader man doesn't uh, doesn't do a very good job of leading. He kind of just randomly shoots off in one direction or another. Um, so yeah. We'll just put it on shift A, which is what I have it set to for the auto level flying. Although now I'm just going down, so... Thanks, computer. That's good AI work there. <clears throat> so, now that I'm not feeling really horrible, I can tell you that when I was in Washington, I went to the National Air and Space Museum and I saw this plane and several others from this game that I had flown, including a Newport, which was really cool. Uh, they had some World War II planes as well, a Messerschmitt in there, a Spitfire, um, a Zero. You know, like all the big ones, and a, um, a Mustang. So that was pretty cool. You know, I never really seen any of those old, old timey planes that close before. <clears throat> um, what else? There was a. Uh, I mean, they had a lot of like spaceships in there too. Well, I like space too, so um, that was neat. Just seeing uh, all the capsules and and things from, uh, like, rocket boosters and stuff they have. Uh, there's also a lovely shop with, like, a lot of books. Um, and I really like books. And I probably spent a lot of money on books that I didn't need to. <laughs> um, mostly on flying. Let's see. I got one about blimps and balloons and things. <clears throat> and the other two were about, like, um carrier warfare in the Pacific, which, as you know, I will possibly be doing a Let's Play on fairly soon. I am just looking into a few things for it at the moment, like some mods and things, so if you have suggestions for mods for um, IL-2-1946, you should let me know, um, because I think I'm going to be adding that to my weekly schedule, so there'll be a, uh, <coughs> a Rise of Flight on Monday, like always. And then we'll also have a um, um, an IL-2 uh, on, like, maybe a Friday or, or something. Um, also this week, I have it's going to be mostly Rome 2, because I literally have, like, 200 hours of that taped or something ridiculous. Because I think Apollo and I played maybe, like, 200 turns so far. We actually need to go back and play that some more, but I have so much recorded already um, <clears throat> that uh, it's going to take me a while to edit all that. Um, but we're definitely going to finish that game one way or the other. If I just put this on autopilot, where am I going to go? Oh, he's going to turn around. I'm really far ahead. Oh, I'm not that far ahead of them, actually. I was like, oh, I'm probably way ahead. Way ahead. But nope, they're right there. Well, let's speed it up. Just get there. So it does take a little bit <clears throat> to get there from from our new our new base location. Um, another thing this week that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do yet because I've tried it in the past and it never did well for me. Um, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. I mean, everybody plays on the computer plays Minecraft mostly. Um, However, I've been playing a really fun mod pack that I like. <clears throat> it's got some some technological shizwa and some uh, some like metallurgy things, which are pretty cool. Um, so I might just do like a a tour of my base, um, a video on that or something. And then if you guys like it and want to see more, I you know I can always do more. So possibly doing that this week too. Uh, I don't really know what else there is. Um, oh, I was looking at Heroes and Generals, which was, or which is a 
I think it's browser based. I haven't actually been able to get into it to play. Um, but somebody posted in, in the comments somewhere about this saying that it had planes in it and stuff and that it was like full like war like a big ass map and there was tanks and infantry and planes and stuff and I was like that sounds cool so I was <clears throat> looking into it and I got an account and all this um, so if I can figure out how to record it because it's in a browser and I don't really know because I use fraps of course so um, well, I think there might be a way to do it um, then I will be recording that because that seems really cool to me. Even if I don't do uh, the planes, maybe I'll do a little bit of everything, you know. Show you guys this and that. <clears throat> okay, so there's definitely a wing of aircraft in front of us. Possibly of bad men. Uh, is there shooting going on there? What's happening? But we're not really close enough. I am getting ready to slow down the speed. <clears throat> For when we are close enough and I can start shooting and probably get shot down and die. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. No need for that, Mr. Pilot. Oh, is that a bad guy just there? Is that a bad man? I can't see. Oh. Oops, nope, that's the wrong thing. That looks like a German plane to me. See, no doubt these are bad guys to me. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the autopilot. I am now in full control of the aircraft, so everyone be very frightened. I don't like how high I am. my view is. There we go. I've also been managed to back it up a bit. There we go. <clears throat> so let's pick somebody here to go after. Somebody who's fairly... Oh, hey! There's a good choice there. Whoa. Now he's gone. Let's get turned around here. Oh, no, he's he's gone too. Okay, here we go. Oh, nope. He's gone as well. <clears throat> Somebody's already chasing him. I think most of them have actually been shot down already. Um oh. there's one. Edward Bradley. Oh, they're English, are they? I like I managed to identify this man just by being 40 meters away from him. I know exactly who he is. There's a George Hill right here. Mr. George Hill. Where did he go? There's George Hill. Let's slow down. I got some serious lag going on. I don't know what the hell that's about. Yeah, I don't know why I was shooting either. I wasn't really close to him, was I? Oh, he's not doing too well, though. Mr. George. Mr. George Hill. Where did he go? Mr. Hill? Oh. Shit, what the hell's he doing? Oh. Oh, God. Some kind of crazy ninja move or something. No, I forget what that's called. Let's see if we can catch up to him. That's him down there. I don't think he's going to be... I think he's in a bit of trouble. So I think we're going to go for somebody else who's probably... Uh... Jesus, I don't know what's going on. Oh, am I getting shot at a little bit there? Possibly. Possibly. Possibly getting shot at. Okay. Oh, oh. That's a Morgan. Morgan King. Morgan Freeman's brother, Morgan King. Okay, my planes just decided to have a spaz attack there. So if I can possibly save this, I will try. <laughs> nope, I am just dropping from the sky for no reason. Might have been shot or something. Okay, let's not do anything at all about this, I guess. Completely unresponsive to me, and I'm dead. So that's great. Um... Huh. I don't know what happened. At all. I mean, I cut my throttle for about 10 seconds, and then... That was it. I guess that was enough to just stall the plane, and I couldn't save it. And I was pretty high up, too. And I couldn't 
move. Oh dear. Um, well, let's just go back and restart. Huh? I'll, I'll fast forward to the to the action so that I, you can watch me get killed again even quicker. <laughs> 